just slinging fire. The Ravens have made a pick I love. Ooh. Kyle Hamilton. That's surprising Safety. to me. Notre Dame. I think this is a true, like, this is from the, the Aussie school. He's no longer there. Oh, got a girlfriend dap, too? No. Um, <laughs> the true best available. Because they, they just signed Marcus Williams to a, a big safety contract. So I, I assume that they wouldn't go after Kyle Hamilton. But I think by most people's measures, Kyle Hamilton is still the best player that's available. So they went ahead and brought him in. They'll figure out what to do with him. He's an enormous safety. So they could do a lot of things with him. He doesn't have to play pure safety. And, and that um, presumably they'll keep, keep up with that blitz-heavy offense. He's a great blitzer who has some pretty good moves. He's great deep. Uh, his coverage isn't always as tight as you would want it to be, but I think that's something he can grow into with all his versatility. Yeah, you know, what do you think? See, I, I, th <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I think versatility and being able to have a lot of guys in the secondary uh, to be able to do a, 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 a variety of different things. You look at the Saints over the years and how they had a lot of guys in, in, in their secondary from the safety position mm -hmm. that are hybrid guys that can guard tight ends, guard slot receivers, blitz off the edge, play – uh, deep thirds, play in the box, just to be able to do a magnitude of different things uh, from that secondary. So I think that's another reason why they made Huge it. Huge news if you guys got it. Come over here in a second, if you don't mind. Yeah, the what you got? Baltimore Ravens have traded wide receiver Hollywood Brown in pick number 100 to the Arizona Cardinals. Ooh. How about that app? Woo! Wow. wow. They for what? It's, like I said, it's Hollywood Brown and pick 100. Uh -huh. The Cardinals are pick 23. Okay, for there we go. Pick 23. Oh, that's so, part we missed. Yeah. So they're they're going to be back up, which is, I mean, I, look, replacement value, I guess. Like, yeah, is it, I guess. Just looking around, like, is that the future? Harry, is that future wide receiver where it's just like, hey, this guy's cheaper, so let's just get rid of that one and draft this one. Well, especially when you see the the, the high demand and what wide receivers are asking for now, uh, compensation wise. So. Why not get younger and a guy that you you know that can probably be healthy, uh, healthier than Hollywood Brown has been, a guy that can probably give you more production. He is a smaller wide receiver, a guy that uh, you don't really want to count on when it comes to longevity. So I think this is what the Arizona, uh, the Baltimore Ravens were thinking here. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they haven't drafted a receiver yet, but I guess we're all assuming that that's what they're going to oh, yeah. use that, that pick for, right? Um, I, I mean, I want to get back to this Kyle Hamilton selection. I, I think they... We talk so much about how, like, a guy like Debo Samuel is a flexible guy on offense and allows them to do so many things in San Francisco. This league is moving more and more in that direction. And the reason why I want to talk about Kyle Hamilton is he has a specific position. Like, he's a safety who's capable of other things. You think back to some of the other guys who've come into the league and haven't had success, like these tweener guys, it feels like some of those guys don't have a position. And they're like, he could do everything. But it really means he can't do anything. So, like, for Kyle Hamilton to have a home and then to be able to do this other stuff, like, it makes me feel comfortable. And also going to, we talked about this, a good situation. Right. That matters. That matters so much. The Baltimore Ravens is a place where if you're good, you're going to succeed. That's not true of very, other, very many places. They do have some transition as far as coaching is concerned on defense, but I still think that he'll succeed. Another thing I like about Kyle Hamilton, when he was on first take, I remember Stephen A. asked him, hey, you, you look like you're a nice guy. When I watched that film, I remember tweeting one game where he knocked somebody out, may have been a quarterback, uh -huh. and I think he got a penalty for it, and I was like, I like this kid because he don't <laughs> care nothing about no rules. He's going <laughs> to arrive, and he's going to arrive violently. <clears throat> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.